is your friendly neighborhood designer, Olivia here. Today I'm gonna to be going over better brand folders, better brand folders. I've done folders before, I've done organization before, but today I want to specifically talk about how to empower and be most impactful with your brand on Canva. This is one of the most common questions I get. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the ultimate brand cool culmination of folders on Canva. All right, make myself smaller. So this is my brand folders right here. You're gonna notice that I have a lot of stuff here and that is because the brand kit cannot contain me and it can't contain you either. The Canva brand kit only has logos, colors, and brand fonts. And there's so much more to a brand than that. I have brand patterns. As you can see, I use these groovy flowers. I also, of course, use a terrazzo pattern. It is my signature at Let's Go Studio. I also love these sorts of gradients. I love mixing and matching. It might not be your jam, but it totally is my flavor. So that's what I like to do. I also have an icon suite with all the icons that I like to use in my brand. These have been already changed to my brand color palette so that I know anytime I use an icon, I'm gonna be good to go. Next, I have a whole kit and caboodle of flat lays that I had custom invested in right here. I also have a whole separate folder of gradients, even though I use this just a little bit less, um, but I really love these orange, orange gradients. I have cutouts, which are like kind of cool elements to use whenever I wanna do collage type things and so on and so forth. In this brand folder, I also have my own Let's Go Studio brand style guide, which you can purchase. Um, and as well as my brand headshots. And I have my brand headshots done by quarter so that I can tell my team, hey, the ones from 2022 are the ones to be used. Upload your photos, guys. I, a lot of you are still using photos off of your Dropbox or Google Drive. Make sure you're creating folders and putting your stuff in Canva. What you doing? Get, get going, get, get going. The other thing that you're gonna notice that I have is, where is it? Canva finds. Now I could definitely make this folder more robust. It's only got a few things in it right now. But did you know that if you find elements on Canva that you really like, you can add them to a folder? That's right. Um, as you can see from these tabs up here, the next Canva Tip Weekly is going to be on logos. But for now, let's come over to uh, Canva Tip Weekly. And let's say that you find an element that you love, right? Um, we're gonna come over to elements and we're going to, you love this leaf. I love this leaf. There's a couple ways you can do it. First, you can hover over the element in the left side panel and click add to folder, right? So as soon as you see add to folder, you can find the folder over here. Or you can click on the object and click on the same information tab right here. Click on the eye, here we are, add to folder. So I can add to folder and I can go find my folder. I love folders, obviously. Let's go brand, move to folder. That is the best thing to do. Now, if you have decided that you're like, I'm so overwhelmed, what do I need? What do I need? I have got three things I definitely think you need to work on for your brand, for your brand folder. That is aside from fonts and colors. Three things, three things. The first one is going to be your photo style. You gotta have a photo style. Obviously, I do these flat lays. I had these custom done for my brand. I'm obsessed with them. They are bright orange, bright pink. They work perfectly for me and my brand. The first thing is figuring that out. Now, you can get things from Canva, but I actually recommend getting something like Color Joy Stock or Inspired um, Stock Photos. What is that name? Inspired Stock Shop is what it is. These are going to give you a cohesive set of brand elements uh, um, that are cohesive in lighting, right? Lighting and style. Um, I personally use Color Joy Stock. I'm obsessed. I love the color. I, I'm a colorful brand designer. Uh, I love all of these. I, I pretty much downloaded one of all of them, basically. Another one is Inspired Stock Shop, a really beautiful, maybe more mystic if that's more your jam. Stock Lane is also gorgeous. Uh, has a little bit more neutral to it, but still has a great pop of color. And I don't know how to pronounce this. How stock? Um, this is going to be for my neutral girlies, neutral pals, not just my girlies, um, neutral gals and pals. Uh, and this is going to be more toned down. If you're exhausted, if you're like Olivia, what you doing? This is my feed for you, right? So that's number one is to get good, uh, photography that feels like it all blends together. The second thing is going to be to figure out your signature brand element. I talk about this a lot. It is my phrasing for, hey, you need fonts, colors, and a signature brand element. It doesn't have to be illustration or a scribble. 
It could be a brand pattern. I happen to have a thousand signature brand elements because I'm a designer and I love to use things, but you can see here, I have terrazzo pattern. I have a whole custom set of illustrations that I got done for myself as well. Uh, not those, these. These are all custom done for me, but I also had a phase where I loved all of these things as well. Um, so your signature brand elements are going to be super, super important for creating um, cohesive and comprehensive items. The third thing is gonna be the brand style guide. You gotta have a style guide, you really do. You need to create a roadmap, and this is for sale in my shop. You need to have a roadmap that is beyond the brand kit. You need to have, hey, this is the mood board, this is a stronger, uh, a more elaborately defined color palette, and scrolling all the way down. This is where you can see my brand photos, my brand patterns, don't know why that's right there, brand patterns, my illustrations that I like to use, even right down to my favicon, how do I use my boxes and borders, Canva frames. By defining all of this within Canva, it will help you define the rest of your brand and form those folders with all of the puzzle pieces that you need. So that is a little bit inside of my own brand, Let's Go Studio brand folder. Let's go take a peek at that one more time. And two more little bonus tips for the people still watching. The way that you do a banner image like this is, so this is what a normal folder looks like. You're just gonna hit this little plus sign, hit banner, create in Canva and it's gonna pop open and you're able to put whatever you want right here. So I'm gonna do that for some, no, well, let's brand it, come on. I'm right here. <laughs> um, what is happening? Oh my gosh, that was actually like a whole, oh good heavens, that was that was intense. I took us down a weird, weird path there. Weird path, weird path. And... Ta-da! Now we have a cover photo. Then you can hit this little star right here boop, boop, to put this in your sidebar. So obviously I have my Let's Go brand, Let's Go Social, any of my coursework that I do in Design Shop right over here in the left sidebar. Um, this is going to be, it, this is how I quickly grab things. I know where it's at, it's starred. I can always come over here and search my brand headshots, camera finds even all these sticker shapes that I have downloaded for my assets. So that was a little sneak peek into, well, <laughs> more than a sneak peek. That was my Let's Go Studio brand folders in Canva, Canva branded folders. I hope this helps you take a minute, work on it. This is the best bit of self-care that you can do for yourself is to work on setting up your brand for long-term success on Canva. Thanks so much. We're